You know, uh, the tour is really great. I'm, I'm now in two touring bands. I didn't expect that at 75 years old. But uh, we, we kind of put the vampires together as a uh, tribute to all of our dead drunk friends. Mm -hmm. You know, Jim Morrison and Jimi Hendrix and everybody. They were all friends of ours. And uh, I, I had just done a movie with Johnny, um, Johnny Depp, uh, Dark Shadows. And I said, it'd be great to put a little bar band together. But it was only supposed to be a bar band, and you know, now it's like stadiums, so. Do you know what, Alice Cooper, it's so, it, it's so interesting seeing you and knowing about your backstory. I know the music, but I didn't know very much about you as a person, because you talk about a bar band and you talk about the lost people in rock. I think what I found surprising is that you used to be what you describe as a functioning alcoholic who had to anaesthetise themselves to be on stage. You then went through a remarkable rehab process where you came out of rehab completely sober, never went back. You're known as this hard rocker, but you're a committed Christian. You run a project to stop yes. young people going down the wrong route. And, and yet you're still out there, you know, with this image as being this kind of sex, drugs, rock and roll individual. And that's not to mention the golf. <laughs> Well, yeah. No, it's a very complicated thing. First of all, I created Alice Cooper to be my favorite rock star. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I wanted him, I designed him to be that. And I enjoy playing that character. But there's nothing or ever has been anything satanic in our show. There's never been any nudity. There's a, it's always been pretty much like a dark vaudeville. And... Uh, you know, people like when Groucho Marx would come to see the show, he saw it as vaudeville. Uh, when Dali saw the show, he saw it as surrealism. Everybody had a different take on it, and I think that the whole idea of, of it, it just really being a really good hard rock band with theatrics. In other words, if you say, welcome to my nightmare, give them the nightmare. You know, give, give them the whole thing. Um, as far as the Christianity goes, you know, um, for me... I think people have a, a very strange uh, definition of Christianity. It's really a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and that means, you know, we don't judge people. We don't, we don't, uh, I, have, I have tons of friends that, you know, uh, that are in all sorts of different things. But, you know, I don't judge them. Alice Cooper is pretty much, if I was doing Macbeth, Macbeth would be more dangerous than Alice Cooper. <laughs> And what was it, Alice Cooper, that when you went into rehab, I think it was back in the 80s, wasn't it? So that's more than 40 years ago. What oh. was it that meant that you came oh, yeah. out I mean, I... completely uh, able to say no to the next alcoholic drink while everyone around you must have carried on? It was, I, you know, uh, it was uh, incredible because even the doctor said that's a miracle. You should be in AA... You should have a sponsor. You're going to be hiding drinks all over the house. And I went, no, I'm not. I said, I, you know, and it's no willpower. I mean, it was a total miracle, you know, that, that uh, I came out. And, uh, and people say, well, you're a cured alcoholic. And I go, well, I think I'm more of a healed alcoholic. <laughs> so God just kind of took it away from me. And, you know, I, that's all I can explain because I, I have no willpower at all, you know. I'm, I'm sure your fans will know this, but I actually was a bit kind of surprised to find out that you swap one addiction for another and that you now play golf five hours a day <laughs> every day. And, you know, when you talked about your ideal rock star in your mind when you formed the idea of Alice Cooper, did you ever imagine that they'd be playing golf five hours a day? Was that part of the, part of the image? I, it, it, it's, you know, when I first started playing, I had to find an addiction that wasn't going to kill me. All my other addictions were killing me. <laughs> <laughs> so when I came out of the hospital, I said, I've got to find something that's going to take up my time rather than sitting around watching television. Because then you start, you know, that, that, that puts you in a position where you start thinking, well, I better have a drink, you know, while I'm sitting here. And so I took up golf. I live in Arizona. Cheryl and I, my wife and I have been married 47 years. And... Uh, we live in Arizona. I get up every morning and play 18 holes of golf. And, you know, I'm like a four handicap, you know, so I, I play every day. But Alice Cooper, the character, 
probably hates golf. <laughs> That's kind of you what know, I thought. I speak of him in the third person because uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I'm nothing like that character, but it's so much fun to play him every night. And did Alice Cooper have a chicken thrown at him? And did he, as it's apocryphally claimed, did he bite the head off the chicken or was that all made up? No, I'll tell you what happened. Um, we're doing a big show, the Toronto Peace Festival. At the end of our show, we would open up these feather pillows and hit it with a CO2 cartridge so it looked like a blizzard on stage. And I looked down on the audience, I mean, I looked down on the stage and there's a white chicken. Now, I know I didn't bring a chicken, okay? <laughs> that was not the thing I brought to the show. That, and I'm thinking, who would bring a chicken to a show? So being from Detroit, I've never been on a farm in my life. It had feathers, it had wings, it should fly. Was it alive? Chickens don't fly as much as they plummet. They kind of went in the audience. The audience tore the chicken apart. Oh. Oh. Threw it back on stage. And well, they threw it back on stage the next day in the paper. Atlas Cooper kills chicken. You know, I, was, I became the new geek of rock and roll. Mm. It wasn't you, it was the audience. We finally <laughs> laid that myth bare. Alice Cooper, it's great to see you. The album Road is released uh, next month, August the 25th, and your band, The Hollywood Vampires, touring now. Just, it's terrific to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.